The final section of this video is all about fun and how to ensure that your students will come back for more. First, let's recognize that for children and adults alike, their tennis experience must closely resemble play and not work. It must be fun, not tedious, interesting, not boring or repetitive. To meet this goal, I suggest integrating fun and loosely structured games at the beginning of each class as a warm-up, in the middle to energize the group, and also at the end of the session so that they go home with a smile. Here's an example with five participants. For larger groups, just have them divide themselves into smaller subgroups. In other words, you can have a larger group broken down into groups of five, and many of them can be playing this same exact drill at the same time on a single court. Now, let's have you guys, if we could, set up these five rackets with the handles pointing outwards in a circle. The ball's on them or not? With the balls on them. Circle about this kind of diameter, a little bigger than me. So let's put one here. It's a little wider, yeah. Here, in the middle, back up, back up, back up. You're here. Good, you're here. Beautiful. Now, when you have little kids, I have to tell you, not just playing with whistles. If they're doing little jogging games, little tag games, anything to create extra interest. Not just seeing, not just feeling, but hearing. Okay? Where do we go? You guys ready? And we are going to do a little magic on this one. Now the game here is called Give a Ball. Alright? And the rules are very simple. Your goal is to give a ball to a neighbor. You can't give a ball to the same neighbor two times in a row. So you have to rotate. When your racket has no balls on it and you've given all your tennis balls away, you are the winner. Jason. So what does no, this teach the children? Cheating, what Giving, generosity. Parents will want this. Very important life skill. Now, if your ball drops off when you go to give it to somebody, be polite, pick it up, and put it on their racket. If you don't, the game stops, you gotta start again. Now, any drill that you want to start, if you want to add some extra fun, you guys understand the rules, right? You can go to anyone, but not to the same person twice in a row. The way to start it is, we'll make something fun up. Like, we'll say that the magic word is strawberry. So when I say strawberry, instead of blowing a whistle, remember, you have different types of whistles, but you also can cue them to begin with words. Ready? Banana. Apple. Persimmon. Apple. Strawberry. Remember that the whole idea of large group beginner tennis classes is to introduce players to this wonderful sport and help them have fun. As a general rule, you should avoid elimination games. That's an important tip to remember. Of course, you should create challenges for the individuals within the group to keep their interest high, but avoid competition where there are actually winners or losers. A very accurate indicator of fun is to watch your students' faces. If they are having fun, you will see it, no doubt about it.